We've recently added a number of new charts, so let's take a look at them. They'll enhance your dashboards and improve the reporting inside your QuickBase. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, we have a scatter chart. And uh, taking a look at a scatter chart, it allows you to quickly identify uh, correlations across multiple data sets, like how project costs might affect the return on investment of a, of a project. Uh, other reports, like this bubble chart, let's pop that out just for a second. This one um, it has a, an interesting functionality to it. Um, you've got three different dimensions of data in a single chart, like sales opportunities by dollar amount, profitability of closing, stages of sales cycle. That data is now visible, and you can click on these and get drill down into the detail if you'd like to. Uh, we've overlaid a bar chart over here with another dimension here. I'm hovering over the line that's, that's there. In this one, you can visually compare data sets with different value ranges, like costs in millions versus hours and thousands, that kind of thing. Let's go down further here. Some people use uh, pie charts to, to display this type of information, but uh, I like this for progression. You've got a number of things happening. Uh, and as they go through a stage of evolution, you eventually come out with your result. And in this scenario, we've got delivery, but they could be sales opportunities that have closed. Over on the right-hand side, you can see a gauge. Uh, this is great. You can set a threshold of what you desire success to be, and you can see how close you are to attaining that. And over on the right-hand side, uh, the sales goal uh, of a line here, so that we're looking at each month uh, what the target is and the goal. And uh, so these are added in are available in, in an application that you can look at and see how they're actually implemented. The application is known as Charts or Fun. It's available in the App Exchange. And each one of these tables up here stages it with the data that you might want to, uh, to view. Uh, if we looked at all the data that's in here, it's in here just to be able to promote these particular charts. So what are we doing with this data? Well, let's take a look at one of the existing bubble charts, for instance, and then click on Customize in the upper right corner. And it allows us to browse through, uh, look at the other types of charts here. And they're all in sections based upon the type of report output that you're interested in. Uh, but you can also look down at the field values and how they relate so you can uh, kind of reverse engineer if you've got any question about how to do this further uh, and this doesn't help out, feel free to reach out to your account manager or sales engineer and we'd be happy to talk to you about how you can make your dashboards pop with these new different types of reports.